After removing the sphincter atome from the package, remove the metal mandrel from the sphincter atome distal tip. Advance the guide wire to the distal end if necessary. If contrast media will be used, flush the injection lumen with saline, then attach a syringe with contrast media. Ensure the guide wire locking device is firmly seated onto the working channel of the endoscope. Insert the sphincter atome into the endoscope. When the blue marker approaches the locking device, the sphincter atome is about to exit the scope. Open the clamp and separate the guide wire from the open channel on the wall of the catheter. Secure the guide wire in the locking device. Tip deflection can be achieved by closing and opening the sphincter atome handle. Tip deflection greater than 90 degrees is not recommended. To secure the tip deflection position, Use the slide lock on the handle. To remove the sphincter atome from the endoscope, withdraw the device until the blue marker is reached again. Then unlock the guide wire and slide the device over the guide wire, making sure to keep the guide wire in place. Resecure the guide wire into the locking device and perform any necessary device exchanges.